Welcome back to another video in the free card for beginners series and today we're going to take a look at the mirror tool. So we're in an empty workspace and by now you should probably be picking up the workflow and I should be able to speed things up a bit in terms of these tutorials. First thing we always do is come up here and we create a new part and make it active. Then obviously we create a body so that we can create a sketch. So we're going to create the body. Inside the body we create a new sketch and we select a plane that we want to use. In this case, I'm gonna select the XY plane, hit OK, and we're ready to sketch. Once again, we're gonna design something really simple, just so I can emphasize and show you the mirror feature. So let's go up to our menu, and we're gonna grab the rectangle tool. Then we're gonna click anywhere on the screen, drag out a rectangle, and now, of course, we have to go and add our parameters. So we're gonna do that as well, because it's good practice. We're gonna go back to model, we'll select our part, Switch workbenches to the spreadsheet workbench. Come up to spreadsheet, create spreadsheet. We're gonna rename it, parameters, double click on it, and we're straight in here. I'm just gonna go and create two parameters here, just like we did in the previous videos. So you can copy them down if you want to. So here are the parameters. They're gonna be 50 millimeters each. I've activated both of them by adding an alias. So now I'm gonna go back to our sketch. And here we can set up our constraints and apply our parameters. So as always, we're gonna go up and grab our horizontal constraint. We're gonna select two points on a horizontal line and we can set up our parameters. So I'm gonna enter our width here as a parameter. So we can hit the little button, parameters dot width. We're gonna select that, hit okay. And we've applied that parameter. We do the same for the vertical parameters. We're gonna type in parameters dot length. And now we're just gonna center everything up so that it's in the origin of our workspace. So we can do that again using the same constraints, but this time we're gonna select our center point as a reference. And remember, we can do arithmetic operations in here. So we can just do parameters dot width divide by two. We'll do the same for the length as well. So we'll grab our vertical constraint, enter a parameter, and we're gonna do parameters dot length divide by two, and there we go. We're now centered in the origin of the workspace. Drag off all our dimensions out of the way, and we've now got a nice square. Now if we zoom in a little here, I'm gonna go and grab the circle tool, and we're just gonna sketch out a circle somewhere in here. We're gonna add a constraint so that we can give it a diameter, so I'm gonna go up here to the constraint and arc or circle constraint, click on the edge of the circle. I'm just gonna make it five millimeters for this example. I'm gonna hit okay, and remember we also need to set the position of this, because if we can click and drag around from what we've learned already we know that's bad and we need to tell FreeCAD about the position of this circle so let's do this again we're going to grab our vertical constraint we'll click on the center of the circle and the center of our workspace which is the origin we can still use our width and our length parameters as a reference but obviously this time we can just divide by four instead of divide by two and that'll position it in the correct place so if we create a parameter I'm going to enter parameters dot length divided by four you can see we've now added another one in here that is the full length of the square divided by four. Do the same for the horizontal, but this time we're obviously gonna use the width. So we select our center points, click on the parameter button, and we're gonna type parameters.width divided by four. Okay, and once again, we can see all of our sketch objects are green, FreeCAD's happy, and now I'm gonna show you that mirror tool. So you can see here, if we look at our large square, we could dissect this up into four quadrants. And obviously the circle is centered in the one quadrant. But let's say, for example, we wanted to add this circle to the other three quadrants. Now we could either go through and sketch each of those, or we can do it quite easily using the mirror tool. There is a downside to this in FreeCAD, which you'll see in a second, but it can still save you a lot of time especially if you're sketching out something complex using arcs and curves and those kind of things. In order to use the mirror tool, the first thing we have to do is select which component of the sketch we want to mirror. So in this case, it's the circle. So I'm gonna click on that once, hold down control on the keyboard, and the next thing we need to click is the line that we wanna use as a reference for the mirror. Let's say, for example, we wanted this circle to appear in the next quadrant on the left in the exact same position. While holding control and having already selected the circle, click on this line here and that's gonna represent the mirror line and be our reference for our sketch. Once you've clicked it, it'll turn green. And now up in the top right, you'll see a set of tools here and there'll be two arrows that you can click. And this will bring up a brand new bunch of tools. You wanna to click on this one here that says create symmetric geometry with respect to the last selected line or point. Click on this once. And you'll see on the sketch, we now have another circle in there mirrored 
on that line. Now, as I said previously, there is one downside in FreeCAD with this, and that is that it doesn't mirror the constraints. And this is really, really frustrating because in something like Fusion 360, this is a really fast and seamless process. But in FreeCAD, we've got to add in the constraints again. And what I mean by that is if I click on this circle, notice that I can drag it around, whereas I can't do that with this other one. Now, you'd think if you were creating a mirror reference, it would know about the other constraints. Usually it does, but it doesn't in FreeCAD. But as always, we're not gonna take any shortcuts. We're gonna go with our good practice and we're gonna add in those constraints again. So let's use the mirror tool one more time, but this time we're gonna mirror the two circles. So again, if we hold down control, we need to select which sketch objects we wanna mirror. It's gonna be this circle and this circle. Then the final thing we need to select is the line that we're using as a reference. In this case, it's gonna be the horizontal line. Then we go up to that tool again, click the two arrows, select the tool and there we go we've now got four circles created relatively quickly remember we need to go and add in those constraints so i'm going to do that really quickly and i'll skip ahead the video so all i did there was just add in those constraints like we did before we've got the 12.5 mil on the horizontal on the vertical and i've done that for each of the circles now that we're done with this sketch i'm going to click update and close we're going to go up and change our workbench to the part design workbench we're going to select our sketch and i'm just going to quickly extrude this using the pad tool and I'm gonna make it 10 millimeters and hit okay. You can see now we've got a nice symmetrical model with four holes in it. The next thing I'll show you is how you can mirror entire bodies. It's really straightforward and all we have to do is select the extrusion or the pad in our part tree. So we're gonna click that once. Then up on the toolbar, make sure you're in the part design workspace. We wanna click on this tool that says create a mirrored feature. That's gonna bring up another menu on the left. And we've already selected our pad as a feature here. So there's a little drop down at the bottom that says plane. We're gonna click this drop down and choose select reference. So this is gonna ask us again to select a reference for our mirror. Remember in the sketch where we selected the line to create the mirror reference? In this case, we need to select the face. So if I wanna mirror this toward me, we need to select this face, but you can actually mirror it any way you want. We can mirror it to the left, we can even mirror it above or below. So I'm gonna select the face closest to me as a reference. And you can see instantly what happens is we get a duplication of our body. If we hit okay, come back to our part tree, you can see now we've got this mirrored object in there. And that's how straightforward and easy it is to create mirrored bodies in FreeCAD. This can save you a lot of time, especially when you're designing larger things. This again is one of the most commonly used tools as it can save you so much time. So that's it for this one, guys. That's mirrors in FreeCAD. We've already covered most of the tools that you're gonna find useful for designing almost anything. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Let me know how it's going in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.